$250,000. Watch this, final answer. You have $250,000. our last million dollar winner, but sitting opposite me in the hottest seat in television is Ogi Ogis, a PhD candidate at Boston University, one of the smartest, sweetest, and perhaps craziest men you will ever want to meet. Welcome back, Ogi. Nice, nice to see you. I'm saying crazy only because you have $250,000, but you told our producers you will risk everything on the next question just to see the million dollar That's question. Right. So even if you're not sure, you are going to gamble I am going to all go, this money? I just want to see the million dollar question. I'm so close now, I just, it would be a shame to leave without taking a look at what, what it's going to I don't know if your wife, Polina, shares that sentiment. Polina is up in the audience, and I know, Polina, you didn't even want him to come back. Yes, I did. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean you said, oh, you don't. Let's just take that 250000 and run. He told you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm agreeing because I know you're a med student, Ogi, you're a grad student, you people are, you've said it, you're basically broke. That's you're living right. day to day. I'm not kidding. That's why this money is so, so important to you it's as a family. Than ever seen. It's a tremendous amount of money, but you know what? Everybody here would love to see you get the next two questions right. I'd love to give away a Capital One check for a million dollars with your name on it. said you're two questions away from the million dollars and the best news I think is you still have two lifelines to help you. You're 50-50. I know. Yeah, big wow. I heard a lady go wow. And switch the question. I'm sure I'm gonna need them. <laughs> ready to go? I'm ready to go. Audience, are you ready to go? $500,000. Who is the only member of the Beatles to have never performed on a Jerry Lewis Labor Day telethon? Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, John Lennon. I guess everybody's waiting to see if I know the answer. Yeah. I'm waiting to see if I know the answer. <laughs> You want to switch out of this one? Okay, let's see what the answer was. It was George Harrison. Okay, we're going to switch out of this question for another question. Computer, please, value of $500,000. Again, for $500,000. Okay. In the 1890s, heroin was introduced commercially to the U.S. by Bayer as a remedy for what ailment? Stiff joints, high fever, stuffy head, persistent cough, heroin. Your med student wife might know this answer. <laughs> Maybe she can kind of send it to you through telepathy here. I'm trying to remember. I know there's an American writer that used heroin in the late 19th century. I'm trying to remember. randomly take away two of the wrong answers. It's either a stuffy head or a persistent cough. It's hard to imagine heroin helping with a stuffy head. somehow to go back to that story about the old Yeah, yeah, I, 
the, 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 only, the only files. The only hook I have is a uh, a note. There was this writer that uh, American writer that used it in that time period. So I'm just trying to. Just want to remind you again, okay, that if you miss this, you do go down to twenty-five thousand oh, yeah. dollars. So. Uh, Answer. There's no way I can recall the, the writer is logic, but of course at this level logic logic usually doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, at, at, at this level logic would say get out of here, you know, if you don't know. So, so logic. obviously makes the most sense, but I mean, one thing I've learned from watching other millionaire shows is at this level, whatever you think makes the most sense, uh, is it? it usually isn't. So now that's where you're going back to, you're trying to think of all the other stuff questions. Head. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm going to have a really stuffy head if I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to... Well, I think, think someone may beat you around the head. <laughs> I think my wife's gonna kill me, but I, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. Oh man! Oh my gosh! Stuffy head. Who the hell would take care of a stuffy head? <laughs> this out. Okay. Your writers made up one of these, so that means somebody sat in the room and was trying to think up ways to fool me. <laughs> ways to trick me out, so stuff your head. Now you're getting a little paranoid. Oh. <laughs> hey, half million dollars, I'm going <laughs> to be damn paranoid. Um, persistent cough. That means they made up one of these two. Stuffy head seems like something you make up to fill in the third wrong choice. Persistent cough. Stuffy head. Half a million dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Stuffy head. Cough. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a chance on this. Oh, okay. You could have had 250. Said you have 500. <laughs> Because when you said, honey, honey, I knew that was it. The, yeah. the horse had oh. left the barn. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I <laughs> well, listen, oh, I think the everybody way. here, oh. we, we need a moment, right? Yeah. To just sort of digest this and compose ourselves. You got guts, man. You really do. One oh, man. One 